Yeah, good afternoon. It's Jim from JagEffects.com. It is Tuesday, the 26th of May, 2020. Time is currently 4.20 p.m. local here in Vietnam. This is a look at my 12-hour high probability charts. The new candle was at 4 p.m., which was 20 minutes ago. There wasn't much doing. Everything's up to date, so let's have a look at the charts. Here's a trading view, 12-hour charts. This is my watch list on the right. Anything that's highlighted in blue are ones I've currently got trades on, not highlighted, no trades, and in orange, what I'm going to discuss in this video. So we'll just run through it. Uh, first cab off the ranks, the Oz New Zealand. It was, this is from this morning. It wasn't enough to do a video, so I've saved it for this afternoon. Um, now, I'll just go quickly over what I'm looking at here. This is my high probability setup. If you see green lines like this, it's normally a big number. So that's the parity 1.00 level on this chart. Red trend lines signify some sort of divergence. Uh, red ones a bearish divergence, just either hidden or um, regular. And sell trades are designated by the red vertical dashed line and the solid red horizontal line. Any stops, are, it's hard to see, but it's a dotted red line in there. Now, I was in a cell from this trade, and as normal, you can read my notes here. This is sequence one, so it's only the one sequence of trades anyway, so don't worry about that too much. Um, so you can pause the video, read my notes. It was a cell up here, and this morning, all I did was move my stop down to 107.527, sorry. And the reason I moved it down, a grey line was put, a vertical line, which all to me is a warning line. In this case, it was a new green dot on this bottom indicator, which is the MACD Platinum. Now, with the MACD Platinum, it's a zero lag MACD. Uh, if it's above the zero level, which is this level here, it's if above, I'm looking to sell. If it's below, I'm looking to buy. So I'm going to sell here. I've already closed half and across the zero level. And now, because we've got this green dot on the MACD Platinum below the zero level, I'm looking to... Um, buy now, so I've brought my stop down tighter inside the entry level, and as you can see, this thing's just going sideways. So just making sure I don't lose anything on the second half of the position. This is my setup. These are just the three MAs: the 50 EMA, 100 EMA, 240 LMA. They just give me a, an idea of um, trend direction. Nothing else. As I said, this is the MACD Platinum. The green and red dots on the price chart. That's called the QMP filter. All they are is a visual aid. They're just a combination of this MACD Platinum and the dots. You can see a lot of them sort of line up, but it's they're in combination with another indicator that's not displayed on the chart called the QQE Advance. So when the QQE Advance crosses and it's in sync with this MACD Platinum, then a dot will present on the chart, and that's normally my signal. In this case, you can see this. Uh, let's have a look here. All right, we'll look at this red dot here. So the, it's in line with the MACD Platinum red dot, which means the QQE um, advance crossed exactly the same time. Sometimes it doesn't. So here's a green dot on the MACD Platinum here, and the green dot's not for a few more candles. It's a bit hard to see on the green line there, but it's in there. Same here, red dot, but it doesn't present until up here. So that's this basic setup. So all I did was move my stop down. Aussie USD, something I just took some action on a few minutes ago. Uh, I was in a sell here based on regular bearish divergence. I've got a new buy signal, which is not a valid buy signal because the MACD Platinum is above the zero level. It wasn't a great sell signal in a way. Uh, now this is going up. All I've done is closed, and I've actually taken a loss, which is unusual for me. To take a loss, that is. Normally I'd hedge it, but I haven't in this case. Um, so I took a loss of $30.60, and that's been deducted from the profit to date. So I can get rid of those now. Uh, so that's no longer in play. There's no trades on. This green line on the Aussie is just a 60 cent level, important level on the Aussie. So there's no trade on the Aussie. All these trades uh, are recorded on a shared spreadsheet through Google Drive. There's a link to that spreadsheet. It's available to everyone. It's in the description of the video. So if you want to go over a look at it, more than welcome to. I've been trading the 12 hour charts since I think I think it's the 3rd of February this year. So there's a fair bit of data there, a lot of trades. 
All right, moving right down my list here, New Zealand CAD, another one I took some action on this morning. This blue trend line, if you see a blue trend line like this, it's just something I'm looking at. In this case, it's just a, a resistance area. It, it, you know, like it's hit it once there, you could probably move it across there. Uh, hit it there, hit it there, hit it there, hit it there, hit it there. Now it's punched through it. I was in a buy from, buys are signified by the blue, would you believe? Opposite to the cells, which are the reds. So I was in a buy already down here. Act D, platinum through the zero level, get up near this re resistance area, closed half, put a stop in place, the stop was down here somewhere. All I've done this morning, because again, there's a red dot on the MACD platinum above the zero level, so I'm now looking to sell. All I've done was move my stop up this morning to 84906 and lock in. So make sure I don't lose on that second position at all. So that's it for the trading, all very boring. Some of these pairs, a few, at least a few of the New Zealand pairs are starting to break out now. Um, that's my dog's breakfast. No. So yeah, look at this. See so these, this is a New Zealand USD. It's sort of broken out that sort of, um, well, it hasn't convinced me yet, but it's it looks like it's breaking out. And you gotta to remember too, if the Aussie's on the move, which it is, then the New Zealand's pretty well right behind it. They're very correlated, those two currencies. So that's it for the 12 hour charts, guys. Not much reporting, not much happening, not much on the daily charts either. Hopefully um, the traders that are on the four hour, two hour, one hour charts or whatever, hope they're doing a lot better um, because this 12 hours and daily is like watching paint dry the last couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. If you do like the videos, please hit the subscribe button or if nothing else, at least hit the like button. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll chat to you some other time. Cheers.